This is the magnetic hypothermia system built by MSI Automation. What we'll be doing in the next few minutes is heating nanoparticles, which is, which is the objective of this type of instrument. Of course, the ultimate objective is to treat tumors, whether they be in test animals or uh, in humans sometime in the future. Um, the uh, treatment of uh, both animals and potentially humans require uh, different types of heating coils. What we'll be using today is a round heating coil operating at around 410 kilohertz to demonstrate the heating power of the unit. So I'll turn the machine on. After it's turned on, it goes through a startup procedure. The color touch screen display pops up. Now you can see from the display there's a warning that there's no water pressure. So I'm going to turn on the water pressure. And as an indication that you have or you do not have water pressure, you look at the heat station, which is to the left, and you have a green light and a red light. The green light indicates that you're not in an operational mode. So I'll turn on the water pressure, and the green light comes on. The green light is triggered by a pressure switch. The red light will turn on when we're actually heating. Now, for the first test, we'll heat manually. And I can heat manually without going to the, ca to the power supply. I have a foot switch in front of me, and I'll just press down on the foot switch. And you'll see what happens with the controls. And I have to turn that on. Now we're in a condition where we can heat. And as you can see, the heat station uh, begins, uh, has a light that, the red light that turns on. Now I'll turn the power, full power. I stepped on the foot switch again and we go to full power. Now that's manual control. As you can see you get the, <clears throat> the machine operates at the power level that you set with the control knob. Now I'll put some nanoparticles inside the heating coil and I will stick a fiber optic temperature sensor cable inside the nanoparticles and these are actual nanoparticles, they're not just metal filings. And if you look above, <coughs> we'll zoom in. That's the current temperature, sh shown in uh, digital format. Now when I step on the, the uh, foot pedal, you'll see a temperature change almost immediate. Okay, I just stepped on the power, reheating, one, two, three, four goes right up. I'm going to take the sensor cable out again, remove the nanoparticles, put them in some cool water, to lower their temperature again. I'll put them back in. Let's see where we are.
and then drop it down. Okay, now for a better demonstration, we'll go to a graph. Let's see if we can zoom in better on that. You can see it's kind of flat lining right now. I'll hit the power. And we're at full power. And you'll see it start to climb. Unmistakably. I'll turn the power off. I'll cool the sample again. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, <laughs> we'll zoom back out, turn over here, and now we'll do it with temperature control. Uh, the systems from MSI come with a sophisticated temperature controller. All you got to do is push that button. Right now I've got it set for 31.5. Uh, degrees centigrade and we're measuring at 22.8 so what we want to do is we'll hit the uh, foot switch and uh, we'll keep the power on until the uh, temperature reaches the set point and at which point the, the power will modulate automatically Set the um, bar graph, excuse me, the XY coordinate graph. So, what we'll do is we're going to heat. You can see we're flat lining right now. Power is on. Full power. Now, I'll zoom in on the display and we'll see what happens. We're climbing. We're already, I can tell you, we're at 26 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> center crate. Now it'll, power's coming down as it tries to approach the set point. The curve is bending, as you can see. And we're right where we ought to be. Pretty amazing. If you don't believe me, we'll zoom back out. Go back over here. I don't know if you can read that. 31 31.1, 31.5. It's almost level. And as you can see from the power meter, the power meter has come down automatically and it's holding us maybe 50% power to maintain that temperature. So that pretty much concludes the demonstration. If you have any questions, uh, you have my email address, my website, and just um, introduce yourself. Thank you for watching the video.